San Francisco Community Music Center is a nonprofit music school dedicated to making music education accessible to people of all ages. I'm Aubrey Aquino and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me this morning is Sonia Kaltbutt. She is the marketing director for the San Francisco Community Music Center. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Um, start Thanks off by telling me what is the center all about? Well, Community Music Center is a nonprofit music school and performance space. Um, we've been in the Mission District for 94 years on Cap Street. And our mission is to make music accessible to everyone. So no matter what your musical background is, no matter your age or your financial situation, you're welcome at CMC. And tell me about some of the programs that you offer. Sure. Um, so spanning ages, we've got a family music class, and that's for very, very, very young children, uh, toddlers basically to four, and their caregivers. And um, we've got young musicians programs for those, uh, for those kids in like middle and high school. And those are a little more comprehensive, so those will include performance opportunities, they'll include music theory um, and composition. And then from there, we've got classes for adults of all kinds, um, songwriting, music theory, jazz ensembles, choirs, and um, an older adult choir program for seniors. Why are music education um, programs so important to keep in the community? I think music brings joy across the board. I don't know anyone who isn't affected by music in some way. And um, I really believe personally that it's, it's important that we all have the same opportunities to study it and to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And you were talking about the programs you have starting at very young ages. Um, I guess it's, it's a great idea to start while they're as young as toddlers, as you mentioned, but even um, to senior age, there's no reason that music education should stop. Absolutely. We have some seniors who have joined our choir program. Mm -hmm. They might be in their 60s, 70s, 80s. And from there, they've signed up for music lessons. So mm -hmm. we've got a couple of violin students who started out in our choir program, other students who have decided to study piano or voice. So it's really never too late to start. Right, so you go from instruments to actual vocal um, and I guess music appreciation as well. Absolutely. Yeah, we have a concert series in our concert hall. Uh, it's a small, beautiful old concert hall. It seats about 130 people. And we have a lot of low cost and free concerts there throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And I think that's an important component of what we do is just to expose people to different types of music and performance opportunities. Now, what kind of feedback do you get from not only your students, but people that are able to come to the performances and enjoy what you guys do? I think they're inspired. Oftentimes, we'll have students uh, that start because they were inspired by a concert. Mm -hmm. um, oftentimes, we'll have educational components too. So we'll have a, a performer come, you know, a world-renowned performer will come and, and give a free concert for the community, and then answer questions afterwards. And I think, you know, it makes them human, and it makes it feel possible to pick up an instrument at any any age and enjoy it, wherever you are. Now, what are some of your personal favorite programs that you offer? Wow, I think personally the family music class is my favorite. It's just it's so adorable. <laughs> it's so adorable to watch. <laughs> um, it's also really fun to see um, the teens, you know, really like enjoy making music together and build a community around the music. I think that's just as important as the experience of learning. You know, I think it's really brought people together across a lot of different boundaries. So I think that's a really beautiful thing about what we do. And how long have you guys been there now? 94 years. Yeah, our birthday is, uh, well, our 95th birthday is next year. We were uh, founded in 1921. Mm -hmm. And so what's the future for the San Francisco Community Music Center? It's looking bright, absolutely. I mean, we're constantly, we're constantly kind of reflecting the needs of the Bay Area and taking, taking ideas for new programs and classes and um, serving the people that need it the most. Okay, great. Great information. Very nice to learn about your music center there. And thank you for joining us, Sonia. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Thanks for watching.